Hey everyone, it's Sam here from Set Cell Studios. Uh, I just wanted to say thank you for checking out my new font, Avalon. Uh, now this font is an open SVG font, so it's got some really exciting new features. Uh, so I've put together a quick tutorial to show you guys how it works. Okay, so when you download the Avalon font, uh, it will come in a zip uh, compressed file. So you can just double click this if you're using a Mac computer or uh, right click and select extract if you're using a Windows computer. Uh, so in the Avalon folder, you'll see the OpenSVG folder, so those, that's the new format with the high resolution, uh, the TTF folder, so this is like the regular uh, font format, and there's also a layered Photoshop file in here. Uh, I'll come back to that in a second. Um, first thing you want to do is open up the TTF folder, uh, double click uh, the font files in here, and this will bring up um, an installation window. So if you just select install font uh, and then repeat this process for uh, each of the other fonts in uh, in the TTF folder and the same thing for the fonts in the SVG in the open SVG folder as well. These will install in the exact same way as a TTF font or, or an OTF font so they're really easy to, uh, to set up. Okay so I'm going to jump into Photoshop and show you guys how it works. Uh, so if you select the type tool from the toolbar and click into your document and type out your text. So from the font drop down menu, you should see the Avalon uh, SVG. Now this is the high resolution font, which will uh, have some really, really high definition um, brush strokes in it. Uh, and they are transparent, so you can put them on any background. And by default, the font is black. So what you need to do is double click on the layer in the layers panel. Uh, this will bring up the blending options. Click on the color overlay and with the color picker you can select uh, any color and it will retain its transparency uh, so I'm going to choose white and click OK once you've selected your font color. So Avalon also comes with a full set of lowercase alternates and you can find those in the separate font uh, called Avalon Alt. Uh, so if you select that uh, you can switch between um, different lowercase characters uh, this just kind of gives it a more authentic look and you don't have to repeat the same character twice. Uh, there is also a all caps version of the font. Uh, you can find this uh, in a separate font called Avalon All Caps, obviously. Uh, and this is if you just want to type everything in capital letters, uh, it just looks much better, basically, than if you try and do it in the script font. Okay, so uh, one last thing I wanted to show you guys was the uh, Photoshop file that I pointed out in the beginning of the video. Uh, so if you can't access the SVG font, because um, you might not have the latest version of Photoshop or Illustrator. Uh, you can obviously just use the uh, TTF versions of the font, but if you did want those high resolution textures from the SVG font, uh, if you open up this Photoshop file, uh, it's got every character um, on a separate layer as an actual image, so you can simply um, drag these characters into your document uh, individually and sort of manually put your text into position. Okay, so once your text is ready, uh, you can hold shift and select all of the layers in the layers panel. Uh, right click and choose merge layers, uh, so then you've got that entire word on the same layer. So you can do the exact pro same process of double clicking, uh, selecting color overlay, uh, and then you can use the rectangular marquee tool to resize it and move it into position. So you can actually do the whole thing without installing the SVG font. Um, so that's all there is to it guys, I hope that all made sense and um, if you have any questions, you run into any trouble, uh, you're always welcome to drop me a message or email me at sam at uh, I really hope you enjoy it and I'll see you guys later.